cameras that you're seeing are doing the work that we all wish we could. And they're doing it in a way that makes sense, it's integral, it's a beautiful thing that they just took upon themselves 10 years ago. So um, it's just, I'm really honored to be here. And now I'm going to turn the stage over to Pasha Ripley, who's actually the MC. So again, my name is Meg York. Please come talk to me during intermission about the financial aspect of musical missions of peace and enjoy the show. Thank you very much. Ready? Musical Missions of Peace champions a nonviolent way to peace worldwide through the power of music. We believe, one, people who have learned and sung each other's popular love songs together are less likely to war with one another than those who have not. Two, music fosters sincere, heart-to-heart -heart communication, which goes beyond treaties or political agreements. Three, musicians make ideal international diplomats and ambassadors because they know how to work together in unifying and intuitive ways. Four, International cross-cultural sharing of popular songs easily dissolves fear-based perceptions. Five, musical sharing opens the door to creating deep and trustworthy friendships across language and cultural boundaries and can heal the wounds of war. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't that a wonderful mission statement? Yeah. Get response. Musical immersion in Peru, then Greece, and finally Egypt <coughs> helped drive home for Cameron Powers the true power of being a musical ambassador. Eva Chernik opened the way for Cameron in Egypt 20 years ago. It was at this all-night village party in between dance trance energies when a moment came for Cameron, who was carrying his oud, to play and sing the popular Egyptian song, Salah, a song which Eva had suggested to him that he learn. It felt like the word was spreading through the village and seeds of cross-cultural music, dance, trust, and love were being planted. On her first of many trips to Egypt, Eva Chernik realized that she couldn't go home and teach everything she'd learned. So she created Dreaming About Egypt Dance and Adventure Tours so that American dancers could go and learn directly from their Egyptian counterparts while experiencing how dance fits into Egyptian culture. It was on one of those trips that Cameron, with his oud, shone as a star in the village on the west bank of the Nile. Thanks so much to Eva Chernik for creating that magical opening. Mm -hmm. 